Game of Thrones was one of the biggest television phenomenons since Friends. It had a huge fan base and an absolutely amazing cast of actors, many of whom look completely different in real life than they do in the show. I'm Adam Andrews with Where Are They Now, and this is the top 10 Game of Thrones stars you wouldn't even recognize today. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite episode of Game of Thrones, and I'll get on with number 10, Macy Williams. The only thing that makes Macy Williams unrecognizable today is because she recently changed up her look. For me, Arya Stark looked the same throughout the whole show. Like, she as a character changed completely, and she obviously became much more reserved, serious, and somber as her character turned into an incredibly dangerous assassin. But her face stayed so similar as she aged that it actually kind of made her character more unsettling. This year, though, I have seen her with bleached blonde hair and bleached eyebrows, and then also with a complete buzz cut, which does make things harder with the whole recognition thing. Number nine, Ian White. I can tell you exactly why you wouldn't recognize Ian White. Because while Ian White is huge at seven foot one, he is not a 30 foot giant named One One. That's just a fact. But that is who he played alongside a few other giants. Actually, there is one reason you might recognize him. In Game of Thrones, Ian was actually the second person who played Gregor Clegane, the mountain. That is, before they hired the absolutely massive Half-Thor Bjornsson. Ian White has actually played a lot of characters that keep him a bit more anonymous among celebrities. He played the Predator in two Alien vs. Predator movies, and in keeping with that, he also was one of the blue-skinned aliens in Prometheus. So, yeah, seeing Ian White on the street, you'd absolutely see him because he's huge, but it's pretty unlikely that you'd recognize him. Number eight, Jack Gleason. Jack Gleason had the honor of playing one of the most despicable characters in the show, Joffrey. He was so good at being bad that it almost takes you by surprise when he's actually an incredibly lovely person. So this isn't so much about his physical appearance as it's more so about the fact that he is just absolutely nothing like the character he portrays. Almost as if he's like an actor or something. Although I should say he does physically look different now as well. After taking about six years away from acting after his time on the show, Jack has returned to acting, grown out his hair, and is now sporting a mustache. He also got married not too long ago, so... Number seven, Hannah Murray. Hannah Murray played the wildling girl Gilly, who goes on to have a relationship with Samuel Tarly. As a wildling, Gilly doesn't really have the same sense of style as the other girls of Westeros do. She also doesn't worry herself with makeup or care too much about her hair. That checks out. So, when Hannah Murray steps onto a red carpet or into a role as a modern day character, it does take a minute for you to even be like, wait a minute, I know that person. Clearly, Hannah is not a wildling in real life. She's actually quite lovely. Number six, Isaac Hempstead Wright. When Isaac Hempstead Wright started on Game of Thrones at the age of 10, he was absolutely adorable. But ever since he was pushed out of that window by Jamie Lannister, his character went on a wild journey, ending the show in a very different place. Of all the Stark children, I think he changed the most in terms of his physical appearance. He hasn't changed so much since the end of the show, but he does wear glasses, which changes things up a little bit, I guess. The 23 year old is enjoying his college life and still occasionally working as an actor, but if he showed me 10 year old Isaac and then showed me 23 year old Isaac and told me it was the same person, I'd call you a liar. Number five, Hannah Waddingham. Now, you'd be absolutely forgiven for not recognizing Hannah Waddingham if you'd only ever seen her in Game of Thrones. She played Septa Unella. It was a small role, but definitely an impactful one. She somehow was able to make you feel sympathetic for Cersei Lannister, which I just never thought was possible. So that's a feat on its own, but underneath the garb and the outward look of someone who rejects any kind of possession is Hannah Waddingham and her beautiful blonde hair. I actually only just learned that Hannah is the same person who plays Rebecca Welton in Ted Lasso, who is a drastically different character to the one Hannah played in Game of Thrones. If I didn't make this video, I just would have never connected the dots. Number four, Rory McCann. Like a lot of other actors on Game of Thrones, Rory McCann has quite a bit of a different look compared to his character of Sandor the Hound Clegane. For starters, half his head is not horribly disfigured thanks to a brutal brotherly love. 
He doesn't have long hair and he also smiles a hell of a lot more. But standing at six feet six inches, he does at least stand as imposing as a character in Game of Thrones. As one of the few characters that was in the show from the first episode to the last, most people would be able to recognize Rory McCann on the street, whether he looked like the Hound or not. But it does require a bit of a sharper eye than someone like mm, Kit Harington, who looks exactly the same. Number three, Conleth Hill. Lord Varys was one of those characters in Game of Thrones that you knew was a good guy, but despite that, you had no idea if you could actually trust him. He was called the Spider for a reason. He was a fantastic character, and the actor who played him, Conleth Hill, did an amazing job. But would I recognize him on the street? Absolutely not. For starters, he looks genuinely trustworthy and super nice. But more obviously than that, Conless sports a head of white hair. I got so used to seeing Varys with his lovely bald head that seeing the actor walk around with actual hair totally throws me off. This one is a no-brainer. Number two, Carrie Ingram. This may come as a surprise to some of you, but fortunately, grayscale as an affliction does not exist in the real world. Luckily, that means Carrie Ingram, who played Shireen Baratheon, gets to look like a normal person. A normal person who is absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, you probably wouldn't recognize her if you saw her today because she had half her face covered in a stony, scaly prosthetic. She was also a bit more of a minor role, and as such, she didn't have as much time in the light as others. And even when she was the center of attention, her character wasn't the most lavishly dressed or tended to. So, the 23-year-old actress in our real world is not someone I would recognize on the street or on her Instagram. She looks way different. Number one, Richard Brake. The funny thing about Richard Brake is that you'd almost definitely recognize him on the street because as a character actor with such a unique look, he has been in so many different things, but it's very unlikely that you'd actually recognize him in Game of Thrones as he was the actor who played the infamous Night King. But for only two episodes in 2014 and 2015. He was the one underneath the cold, icy visage for the episode Hard Home, which itself won seven Emmy nominations. Due to a scheduling conflict though, Richard had to walk away from the show, which is when he was replaced by Slovakian actor Vladimir Ferdik, who finished off the show, even portraying the Night King before he was turned into a White Walker. That's show business, baby. And that is also all the time we have for today. I'm Adam Andrews, this is Where Are They Now? Stay safe and well informed out there, doodles.